And behind me is a lava dome, which is part of the Salton Sea volcano. This is a recent um, lava flow from about 10,000 years ago. Uh, this week, this very site has had um, several um, microquakes and meetings a day. It's been shaking a lot lately, sometimes it's even, um, earthquake swarms. There's hot magma about a mile down below me. Um, it's cooling magma, it's like a little dike that's coming up, like a little tube of magma. Here you can actually see some of this um, material coming up. It's um, hot boiling water that came close proximity to magma a mile below us. It gets superheated and it comes up pulling along with it mud material and volcanic gases. I see a lot of cracked ground. And uh, that tells me the ground is changing. It could be expanding magma below. I see these cracks all over this site. There you have it, folks. We're in a live volcano. This is it. She's breathing. The volcano breathes. A hydrothermal plant because the magma heats up water that they pump down and water comes back up to steam and runs turbines. This field is growing and this is a new vent. Eventually this area right here, this what's now a vent, may very possibly become a magma dome.
along the San Andreas, we were just at Whitewater um, Canyon earlier today. Now we're driving through Mecca, California. And off to uh, my left is the San Andreas Fault. We've been following it all along. And we're going down to 111, and we're going to visit Salton Buttes Volcano. Passing the last farm before hell, there'll be just absolutely nothing pretty soon. As I continue to drive along to 111 now, the San Andreas Fault off to my left, and it's going to be off to my left for a, a long time. Now we're getting to less and less vegetation, and the farms are falling away gradually. Still following San Andreas. We're entering a pretty desolate area. The farms have fallen away. There's no more farms. Um, and there's a body of water. That's the Salton Sea. It's one of the most polluted um, inland seas. It's salty. It's um, pretty interesting. So we're passing North Shore in the Salton Sea area. Okay, now we're really entering the desert. It's going to even get more empty than this. So I get closer and closer to that volcano, about 30 miles away from here. There's the Salton Sea. Okay, once this train clears, you're going to actually see the red rocks. There's the San, Andre There's the San Andreas Fault. There it is. That's the San Andreas Fault. Now you get a pretty good view of it. You can see the gray rock and you can see the red rock, and that's the San Andreas. And we're really, really in the desert. And this is how empty the desert is out here by the San Andreas Fault. It's like getting more and more into absolute nothingness out here. And Sultan sees right off my car on that side. Right now, um, I'm a few hundred yards away from the San Andreas Fault. It's just off my shoulder and the road is getting gnarly. Now we're going to cross the San Andreas Fault, part of it, real soon, where you see the black tarmac, it's coming up right here. There's big cracks in the ground and stuff. This is the San Andreas Fault where all this repaving is done. There you go. That's a part of it. As I'm driving on this road, I'm getting close to Bombay, California, on the Salton Sea. That's the point where the San Andreas Fault um, ends and starts going underground. Right now I'm below sea level. Um, that's right, we're below sea level. Now here comes the town of Bombay, California. You can just see a town coming up. And that's where the San Andreas Fault ends. So right now I've been on the San Andreas Fault a little bit off and on, because the road kind of crisscrosses it. Yep, there's Bombay, California. That's where the San Andreas Fault ends. What, what did you just say? Say it for the camera. It's funny. What were you going to put on your tombstone? That I've been to Bombay Beach. <laughs> no, we're driving an absolute desert. This is, this is the real deal. This is absolute desert. We're about probably 10 miles from the volcano. We're now in a rifting zone where the tectonic plates are splitting apart. Okay, now I'm driving through the agricultural area that's real close to the volcano. We're actually in the volcanic field now. And we're back. Okay, now I'm driving by a hydrothermal um, power plant. And that steam you see coming off the stack is uh, hot water. They pump water down into the ground. And just below us, um, just a mile or two, is hot magma. And it um, heats up the steam and it comes back up to the surface and it turns turbines. So this is um, magnet generated heat. 